Hi and welcome back to my video. Uh, if you're wondering if this one is sending you, it's because I just filled my collaboration with Testagram, so I'm just going to let it be there. Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to sit down and talk. I just got home from my sleepover with my friends. It was amazing. We had so much fun and. I couldn't ask for a better like birthday present uh, for me, so I am very grateful and happy and very tired also. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to talk and give like an update on my life and what is happening. So right now I have like this um, February spring, February spring, February like holiday kind of thing. Like I have one week off from school, and I. Uh, it started on Friday and it ends on Sunday, so I start school again on this Monday. But tomorrow I'm going to do uh, a operation for my foot. And it's very hard to explain in English, but the thing is that, like, my... The thing that... You, sorry. This part here, if, you're, if you don't like to look at feet, don't look right now. The thing you have here... Uh, mine is very like um, how do you say it's very it hurts a lot and I if I hit it it's just no no I can't hit it because it hurts like hell though um, and it's because I have some fluids for my body uh, because I have a hole or something I don't know even and I'm going to take away this thing and uh, they are going to correct my foot because it is a bit it stands out a bit the little thing there so they're going to fix that tomorrow. And I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock and I'm not supposed to eat uh, tonight before um, midnight. Before midnight I can't eat anything. And tomorrow I'm not going to be able to eat breakfast because yeah, they're going to, to uh, put me to sleep and things. So it's not good to eat before. And also I'm going to shower in this thing. This is called the Sutan. And this is like a, a thing. Oh my god, I don't, don't know what to call this. It's something that you're going to clean yourself with to like lose all bacteria and stuff that is bad for you because you want to be clean when you are having surgery. So let me see how it looks. I haven't read anything actually. So I bought this at my pharmacy and it cost like 163. Well, this is the thing that you put on your body. So it's for two... two um, uh, this is for one time, one time tonight, and this is for the other time tomorrow morning. I believe. And yeah, here are the instructions. Here's the little thing. Here's the little like thing that you're going to supposed to wash yourself with, and that one looks like this, and it has just a little instruction there, and I think. This is the soap part that you're going to put on that one and it's just rubbing on your skin. I have no idea. But yeah, it looks very weird. But this, these four together are like one, um, one showering, one, one time thing. And then, no, sorry. Yes, no, wait. I have no idea. Okay, maybe this is for one. One with a soap thing and two of the sponge-like things. And the same goes tomorrow. And I don't really want to read this, but... I'm not supposed to have any jewelries. I'm... And wash the whole body, including hair with water. Wash the hair with this uh, soap thing. Uh, and then you are going to use this uh, and to wash your on uh, your body and wash your face uh, and it says you to be very careful very oh my god I don't know very like you need to wash your armpits and your belly button and do 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 and then you're going to take the other sponge and repeat the whole uh, thing, the whole wash thing from step 3 to 8. 
And then I'm supposed to dry my body with a clean towel. And when I've done that, I'm supposed to, to shower like my normally shampoo or um, and uh, conditioner thing. Or uh, any body lotion. Because then like the whole effect of this getting the bacteria out is unnecessary. Oh my god, I need to take on... Okay, that is not so hard to to um, figure out on your own to take on some clean clothes because I always take on some clean clothes and then I'm going to change my bed too apparently oh my god I'm not so excited for this operation but it all started with that I thought that my foot was very oddly like pointed out and it hurts a lot to walk and have like shoes and stuff so that's why I need to do this in the first place, but I never like contacted a doctor or anything because I thought yeah Anyway, it hurts and I look a little bit bony, but I didn't care too much about it because I was too lazy and then just one day I had enough and I just felt it was hurting so much when I walked and when I have like my uh, Comfortable shoes it hurts like you have no idea so I just called off the doctor and he looked at it and he sent me to another hospital and they took some scans and stuff and then I met another specialist on like uh, anatomics and things and yeah he looked at the scans and said that this is what uh, happens with your foot and blah, 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 blah. so after that she said it can like break on its own because it is like a blister almost but uh, it depends on how long I I had it there and I have no idea I just had like pain like all the time and thought that I was skinny uh, on that part so I didn't mind so much and I didn't know when I got it so yeah and he said like we can operate too it's just a small incision and it's a small break and it will go fast and everything so I said I wanted to operate as fast as possible because I'm going to a Cheers concert and the 30, 30 or more, I think it is, with me and my friends in Stockholm, and we are going to have a, uh, to stay there for the next day. So we are staying there for Friday to Saturday. So maybe I can film something from the concert. I probably will because it will be so awesome to be there. And um, I don't know if I can film anything uh, when I'm going to do my surgery tomorrow, maybe in the morning a bit before uh, because I need to shower and I can't eat, so what am I supposed to do? So yeah, that I can do, but I have no idea if I can take the phone with me. I think I need to like leave all my clothes, clothes and stuff uh, to my mother. Um, yeah, so I don't think I can bring my phone because it's full of bacteria and I don't want to get infected or something. <laughs> So yeah, that is, was, that is what is going on right now. Uh, and also I'm trying to find a prom dress. It is almost impossible. I'm so tired of this searching. But I need to, to, uh, to still be searching because I haven't found one yet. And I need to. And I haven't even paid the prom uh, thing yet. I'm so bad at these things. And I have one like assignment left to do. Uh, yeah, and we have like holiday now, so I'm just so tired, too tired to do it, but I need to, because I should have uh, turned it in la last Friday, at least, so yeah, not so good, <laughs> I can admit that. But yeah, that is what's happening, and so you know why I've been gone, and it's so stressful with school, I have this like... Um, what is it called, like with my company, we're going to be on this special occasion thing and I'm so done with this company it's so hard and it's so much time that I need to to put to put on this and I want to put time on my YouTube and my social medias and my blog has been like out there some I haven't updated in like four or five days I think and it's so frustrating because I want to and I want to keep my YouTube channel alive I want I want to do things but it's so hard I don't have this time and it's yeah it just takes a lot of energy too from like one person to do my company I'm alone in that one too and in this I am alone it's funny but it it is hard and also in we are writing like this big uh, assignment 
uh, that all students do when they are in third grade at uh, high school and uh, I'm writing that too on my own it's very hard because yeah, no, you can get stuck and you can get like you can lose all the motivation and that is not great because I need some now It's not the best, but yeah So that is what's happening now It is a lot and I need to focus this Month Mars it is so much in Mars uh, I have like Swedish national test soon that's coming up and my friends are like math and physics and I want to help them as much as I can but, but I can't <laughs> because I can't do their, do their math problems or physics but I can be there for them as a friend and that is very important because my friend actually broke her uh, foot I think it was or ankle or something uh, she's uh, figure skating and um, so she broke that when she jumped uh, and landed wrong so she's struggling with walking right now so I don't have the <laughs> the guts to complain but soon I also will be have trouble in walking so I don't know how this will end. I have I have been driving her to school in this wheelchair uh, to lunch every day now for six weeks but I'm happy to help and um, yeah I hope she can walk soon because we need to be healthy and all glammed up when we're going to a children's concert so yeah um, any questions from you? I hope that you like my videos. I I'm, I don't want to be like... Maybe you noticed that I don't edit my videos because uh, I don't... First, I don't have the time and th second, I don't have the, the room or space for it. My computer is broken down because I can't even open it. And so I'm filming on my mobile phone and I want to do this. I really want to. Because I want to share and I want to like, yeah, be there for someone else, uh, like other YouTubers are for me. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you think this is too like laid back or boring or like you can't even speak English or yeah, very un unmotivated. I have no idea, but I just do what I love and do what I like to do, and this is something that I really, really like, and it feels, it makes me feel like. Yeah, happy I guess and very, it makes me feel like I'm doing something because yeah, in school you are always uh, uh, having something that like assignments or something but it never feels like you do anything to con, yeah, I don't know, it just feels like I just, in school I just have to do it and here it's just me wanting to do it. So that is why I think that I really, really like this and I believe that it helps me a lot because I'm not one to talk about like what's going on in my life and sharing it, sharing it at this uh, platform feels very comforting almost. It feels very nice to have someone or something to talk about. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this random, random talk talking thing that I just did and that you understand why I have so much to do right now and that's why I haven't been so active on all my social medias but I'm trying to I'm trying my best and uh, I really hope you appreciate my work because I'm very proud of it anyways and so I hope you like this and thumbs up of course and have a nice day a nice week and I will see you and maybe I will check on you maybe tomorrow. I have no idea. It depends on how bad I'm feeling because last time I uh, like slept during my operation, I felt so bad the day after. I like threw up and feeling nauseous and headache and everything that you can imagine. It was horrible. So yeah, I hope I'm not feeling that way tomorrow and I'm a bit scared about the operation too. I know it's not very like... Yeah, big like operation thing and I get home the same day others need to stay one night but I get home the same day so it's not something big but I am very nervous anyways so yeah now I'm going to wash some clothes and I don't think I will work out today I'm just feeling too tired but yeah clean up my room and stuff so have a nice day and I'll see you in my next one bye thank you for watching